They have breached the walls. I must find Jailbird. Have you seen Chael Bell? No, but we caught sight of him. It has to be Chael Bell. He is the only prize worth taking in this mudsink. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deigns with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then... You will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. How does it feel? You're slowing. You are strong willed pain. Murphy was lucky. To stand in the way of you and mercy was my duty. I will die before you. to your god, or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgra to the death. I fought, I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war.
Burkrit abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leovrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrit is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now, you haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. <laughs> These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no... be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You are an Otlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in good soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil. All across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly. 
to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheolbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That is good to hear. Now then, Leofrin said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Our warriors now have a place to rest and... A fine shelter. Which reminds me, a few of your wraith... I would like to reorganize the crew.
found who you needed? I'm off. I long to join this crew, one all scalds will herald. There is always need for raiders. My chance will come. Avon, have you seen Wallace? Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide in even better company. The best ones were about... Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance is won. The sons of... Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not been long in England, have you? I see by this map you... At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces, which must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls his friend. And to the south, Soma Yal's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? 
Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Time is running short. I should head to Venom. I'll see. It's done! There is nothing for you here but death! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. Are there colors and markings? I believe they come from Geatland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The... And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... So mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards! This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him, now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps.
your letter. Time is running short. I should head to Venonis and clear my name from the Senates. Otherwise, I'm marked for death. I will need to raise the barn if we're going to get the farm ready for the festival. Greetings. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. I want to see the Alliance. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. Safe travels. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. Our settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. That Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. 
Tell me about your visions. They are as they've always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Finir? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helene. Dreams of death often run ahead of the re- Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a- What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane, who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward. If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family. Who is he, your King Maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading... If you go by the north gates and along the road, you... <laughs> It wasn't Ooh. us! Your folk destroyed this country once before! Yeah. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh! How nice to have a home to speak of, man! Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding wreck. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run to... So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I'm king... I... 
<laughs> when I am your king, I'll... St you will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. <laughs> this place is heavily guarded.
Ruid's clan. They left. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home. Show more grit that. Yes, sorry. Um, if you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. I'd be happy to join. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Alone, Dane. There's Oswald. Frost the Elva is out. Shh. Be kind, yeah? Oswald! Where's this dinner you promised me? Eivor! You came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family... This intended of yours, Oswald? Who is she? One of love? Or politics? Her name is Valdis. And people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with. But her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not... Be kind, yeah? As Christ would come up... Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, the is... last Saxon king we backed. Wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost a hundred and fifty men protecting his maggoty ass. Oh dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your... Blessed ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft.
All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him.